Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. You know, today we're going to be looking at a game in the Clash Royale Copa America Group C USA versus Dominican Republic. But before we get into that, it's, it's going to be a game featuring 2.6 Hog. And I was wondering, because anytime I face 2.6 Hog, I just... It just, it just, there's just a pin in my stomach every time I know that I have to face a 2.6 hog. And it's fairly early that, you know, you kind of understand exactly when you know you're going to be facing that card. Pretty much either two cards or three cards in that you know it's the 2.6. So I was wondering, how popular is this, is this lineup? I mean, if we look at chess over the past thousand years... 1,500 years or so, people still use the Roy Lopez. 2.6, as many other vloggers out there and analysts and pro players have said, it's just the, the time-honored deck. It never dies other than perhaps 2.9 Expo. 2.6 Hog, I looked at it and I grabbed the stats from Royal API. Over the last seven days, and I'm recording this on Sunday, 2.6 hog over the last seven days it is been in the most games overall we're talking all the games played that are available that royal api has uh been able to track 116,000 games that's one percent almost two percent of all the games played in the last seven days across the whole spectrum has been 2.6 hog unbelievable like I, I keep thinking like why do i always see this see this deck everywhere and it's just crazy it's 2.6 hog is just available now that's the most games the most times we've seen this what about win rate it's a 48 percent one win rate and it is 10th best in the last seven days it has the 10th best winning percentage in the last seven days which is absolutely crazy i mean it just if you just think about the stats here in terms of how many games we see 2.6 hog and it's just like i mean why dude why is why is it so good well this game featuring air surfer and Diego Slayer is a really great example of why it is still so strong to this day. And from my understanding, I don't think anything got changed in season 13 in terms of a lineup, uh, in terms of the cards that would have affected 2.6, which is really nutty because I, you would think that, okay, perhaps something would happen. So here we go, you know, coming out with a hog right away. And that forces Diego Slayer to use Zap so that that Ice Spirit doesn't come in. Because if that Ice Spirit comes in on it, it lands on the on the tower and the Sparky. And Sparky can't get off her shot on the Hog Rider. So that's free more. I mean, not free more. Um, it could be perhaps one, two more shots on the tower for Hog Rider. So that's a... Eight elixir push versus what hog um what air surfer did with hog rider and ice spirit and now that sparky gets taken out easily he puts the ice golem in front and he kind of really he he really tucked it in there it wasn't like i mean if you think about like the space in there because I was thinking, okay, perhaps you bring an ice golem right here at the bridge. If you bring it right here, there's plenty of space for, for Musketeer to do to get some shots in on whoever decides to attack the ice golem. And then there's still a ways to go before they get to the Musketeer. But Air Surfer doesn't do that. Air Surfer plants the ice golem right in front. I mean, it's just like they, they're lockstep together and so there is separation but it was really it was really fascinating that that air server decided to put him 
really close instead of put them a little bit further away. Oh, sí, calculadísimo. Vamos a ver cuál va a ser el, el acompañante de ese chipita. Si va a ser gigante duende, va a ser gigante normal. So as Musketeer gets to the bridge, and we should say that Musketeer is not going to get hit by the Princess Tower. So that allows Air Surfer to bring in this fireball right here. Gets pushed. They trade shots. And that allows Musketeer to get some shots on the tower. So some good decision making there by Air Surfer. I was really questioning, I mean, that ice goal. But other than that, I mean, that frees up the opportunity for Hog Rider to get a shot in. Four versus six. And so, because of this 2.6 Hog and the cycle that occurs with it you can already bring out a musketeer and this looks scary but skeletons come in fireball wipes out that i i thought i thought it got the sparky but it didn't so because of that this ice golem gets in the way and that allows sparky to to i mean sparky has to focus on the ice golem and not and not move forward the fireball wipes everybody out except for the spear goblins there and that ice spirit came in just in time and that has to be really deflating i mean anybody who's faced 2.6 like this this has to be really deflating you have a gob giant sparky and a can't versions to the cannon and a musketeer and yes there's a bunch of other cards that come in and out and that's really what is, um, that's what makes it equally as, uh, you know, sad. Because not even the cannon, get, the cannon didn't even um, get taken down. And look, if there was another push, they're going to the cannon. It's just really, I mean, it's just really crazy. Like how good Air Surfer played, played this. And if he wanted to, he, he can't because he only has one elixir. But if he wanted to... At the moment he does get four elixir, he can go to hog. But the play would be to just let this musketeer go. If he does, if she gets some hits on the tower, then that's fine. And Diego zaps it, which means there's no zap for hog. So he's got to bring out a uh, mini to stop that. And mini gets a drive by. And air surfer plays those skeletons high. Now, usually, most uh, I see I see a lot of two point sixers play the skeletons over here because that draws the that draws mini over to the center, so this this tower can get in. But didn't do that. Played it high, and so mini gets nowhere near the tower. And so a minute to go, another attempt with the. With Sparky and Air Surfer decides to up the up the difficulty by doing a King Tower activation, which I've I've watched this several times and there's I couldn't think of an explanation like why that would happen, and that was an amazing play right there. That's it's the small things about this 2.6 that are that make it really annoying, but if you play it really well, it's amazing. Here comes this ice spirit right here and it doesn't look like anything it just looks like okay let's just get let's just distract sparky let's get her shot off and then have her recharge and then bring in the next distraction and then bring in the next distraction but air surfer decides to play the skeletons there first the skeletons are above the ice spirit here which means sparky's got to go here first and because of that Ice Spirit stays alive, gets some shots in on the Gob Giant, and another distraction, and another distraction. It almost worked with that Ice Spirit right there, too. That was, that was just insane. So, after all of that, Sparky's gone. This Musketeer is just down to less health than Air Surfer's Musketeer. And so they trade, and that really isn't anything. So, Diego tries to play Sparky a little bit higher. But even though he plays it higher, you just bring in another Musketeer because the cycle is just amazing. Skeletons in the back, logs out. And it just seems inevitable at this point, right? That Air Surfer is going to get enough elixir to do one massive push with Hog that was going to be unstoppable. 
it's really, it's just, it's just really amazing. And by the way, if, if you see the damage on Air Surfer's tower, it's 2,534 health, which means the towers never got touched. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's really amazing. And I don't even think any enemy got close to the tower. Didn't threaten. And maybe the, uh, that one push in the beginning by that Sparky that got wiped up by the Musketeer and Log. But that's it. <laughs> it's just, I mean, this would make you say Nerf Hog Rider. And it's really, I mean, this is just, it's just unbelievable to watch this because when I watched this, I said, this is what I deal with perhaps every other day when you just push the ladder. You just encounter this type of 2.6 hog that it's just, it's just unbelievable. And look at the advantage here. According to Stats Royale, the advantage is 6-4 in favor of Gob Giant Sparky. And yet, Gob Giant Sparky got zero damage on any of the towers done to Air Surfer. It's just, it was incredible to watch this. And this serves as a really great template. If you're trying to play 2.6 Hog, this is what to, this is what to be aware of, you know, how to play, uh, you know, distractions, when to bring in Hog, pushing with Musketeer, having Cannon ready, having Ice Spirit just cycling through, Log, everybody working together to to deliver the win. Now, the other thing I, I, I should mention, too, is that, you know, when we get to overtime, this, this game did not get into overtime. This game was done in regulation. Air Surfer could have just cycled Fireball the rest of the way if it got into overtime. I mean, he was that in massive lead. 8-10 means it would have to have been... Four fireballs and and a couple of logs, but he never got to the point. He was just so dominant in this in this game that he was able to use a fireball right there because he knew that he was he had a comfortable elixir and a musketeer that was healthy that he could do one major major push like right there and cycle to the point where he had everything ready and wipe everybody out and clear the board for. For Hog Rider to do, do the job, unbelievable. I mean, it's just 2.6 Hog. It's just really, it's really amazing. And yeah, this this is the type of game where if the general public says, okay, what's the best game to use as an example for 2.6 Hog? This is it right here. I mean, it's just the. I mean, we see it's. We saw it with the 20 win challenge where. It pretty much came down to five different decks that were viable in order to win. This 2.6 hog, I mean, it's just, it was, it's incredible. So anyways, I'm going to end the video right here. And I'm probably going to face the 2.6, you know, the moment I start playing after I'm done recording. So good luck. <laughs> anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscriber if you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video.